next episode. You're watching Morning at NTV. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. Let's now turn to a phone conversation I had with one artist, Joe Kahiri Mbanyi, who leads the Quella Band. The band has had to stop playing in the wake of COVID-19 and the measures that have been put in place by the Ministry of Health and the government to keep everybody safe. Uh, let's find out how the band is coping and how Joe is doing. Um, they're doing okay as far as I know. Everybody is uh, quarantined. It's a yeah, bit of a... Yes, it's a bit of a tricky season because, um, I mean, of course, there are no gigs. All the gigs that we had were cancelled. And um, and so I'm not quite sure what everybody is uh, finding to do. I know that some of the guys are in the studio recording and just waiting for when this quarantine season lifts up so that they can just unleash all the music that they have done. Um, and then myself... Yeah, I'm, I'm experimenting with a whole lot of things. I'm writing some songs. I'm also uh, going back to one of my one of my older loves, which was uh, doing video stuff. And I know, right? Um, so I've, yeah, I've been hearing about this whole video thing, video conferencing, Zoom, what, what, what. It's like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll get around to it. Um, so. I haven't quite gotten, yeah, I'm not yet in step with that side of technology. To be honest, uh, it's not yet something that we have explored. Uh, what has happened is that everybody has uh, gone into exploring what their options are um, as a person, um, as, as individuals. So we haven't really thought to say, you know what, guys, let's get together. We've, uh, the closest that has come to it is we've, uh, or we are attempting to do a recording that doesn't require people to move around, um, but everybody can sort of record their pieces and then uh, send them to one central point where then we can mix everything down into one jam yes. and see how that works. Yeah, in a couple of ways. One, we had, we had plans that we had already set in motion before this whole thing started. Um, the, the plan is then to pick that up and run with it um, as soon as this lifts off. The other thing that we, the other thing that we have to do is to, so we started on a re, uh, album recording, which is not yet done. That should be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So as soon as as soon as we are able to move again uh, safely and and be in one location, be in studio, I think we'll want to uh, finish that up and release it, and then. Um, also, there's a lot of because uh, you see this is a very it's a very unique experience uh, experience and it's a uh, it's um, it's forcing us to explore sides of ourselves that we hadn't that we had not really had time to 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 look at because you know gigs here what what we're running here running there trying to do this trying to do that um, but now that we've been sort of cocooned in, 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 in each in, in their own space, um, we are being forced to then individually explore the different um, sides of ourselves. So I anticipate that when we come back together, there's going to be a lot more that we come in with as individuals. Um, I know, for example, uh, some of the, you know, some of the, the instrumentalists have been working on, on, um, on uh, developing their singing voice and, and their singing style of performances. And so I know that now that now that there are no gigs and there's no getting together, there's going to be a lot of time to put into that. And so we will see quite a bit of flavor that we hadn't seen before. I know that also as, as singers we've been, uh, we had like instruments that were supposed to learn um, that we hadn't had time to, to, to you know to put the time into and um and and now that's available on the most part anyway so so i'm hoping i'm hoping to see like a much more versatile version of ourselves at emerging from this uh with a lot more to offer yeah. and a lot and different songs as well that the inspiration for the songs 
will come from a different side of the experience, Let's I think. Um, you know, there's a lot more... There's a lot more about COVID than COVID itself because COVID forces you to deal with um, other emotions yeah. um, aside from, yes, there's COVID as a thing, yeah, but then there's emotions and things that you go through. There's having to spend um, weeks without seeing people that you love and care about and precisely for the reason that you love and care about them and so you don't want to put them in danger. They see, so there's that loneliness and uncertainty and fear um, people tend to become more spiritual in these kind of times, and so maybe we'll hear much more spiritual sounding material. Uh, people ha tend to, yes, I know I've had a couple of them myself. I'm just, you know, sometimes just sit down and think to yourself, but you know, um, what about people who always trusted that, yeah, you know, I can always fly to whichever part of the world is, is, is comfortable for me at the time when I need to be and run away from everything. I can just throw money at a problem and it will disappear. And now you realize, no, there's nowhere to go. And even the money that you could have trusted in is becomes useless. And, and suddenly you realize, okay, God, there comes a time when it's, it's just me and you, you know. Yeah. Um, there comes a time when your pastor is not there. You can't just go to church and get counseling. You can't wait for Sunday morning to get encouragement with all the church worship and so Sunday morning it's you in your living room you and God you know and and you have to you're faced with life in a different way um, so I think that the inspiration will be much deeper uh, for the different songs that will come out um, post post COVID I don't think I don't think that it will necessarily be about COVID but the human experience will have taken on a different depth I think after this whole thing I absolutely agree with you. Um, what's yeah. been the one positive take home for you from this situation as we are today? It could go on, it could end soon, we don't know, but what's been the one positive take home? The one positive take home has been realizing how there are so many things that that are not a matter of life and death. Um, you know, life can be so fast, like so, so fast. You have so many things to do. Um, you have no time to even spare a phone call to some people who would love to hear from you and who are important enough for you to be checking on them daily. Um, and you think that, you know, it's, it's stuff that you have to absolutely have to do. And then here you are, and all these things that you absolutely had to do, you can't do. But then the sun still rises, the birds still sing, you're still here, you're still breathing, the world hasn't stopped moving. Um, and, and, and suddenly you're forced to slow down and think about all these things. And so for me, I think that um, this situation, well, one of the most positive things I'm, I'm going to come out of it with, or I'm coming out of it with, is a deeper relationship um, and a deeper sense of uh, life, you know, what it really means to be alive, what are the most important things, how important are all these options that we constantly place in front of ourselves.